hi guys how are you doing i hope you're well blessed and kept of the lord and guys it's that time again of making amazing recipes if you're new here karibu sana to my returning subscribers akuna mwingine kama nini you guys are amazing you're the real gang you are the best so guys continue subscribing kindly and today i want us to make an healthy meal because like i had promised i'm going to be bringing some healthy ways of cooking that are also super super mambo tam tam that are super tamu and so guys let's just go straight into the video as i introduce the ingredients so we are going to be making some sweet potato so guys these are sweet potatoes we are going to be making some sweet potato fries we have some chicken drumsticks here i have some honey this is like raw honey from Ushago. Uh, rosemary, oregano, we have some cooking oil, coriander, this is tomato sauce or you can use ketchup guys, soy sauce, I hope this focuses, thyme, in here guys I know it's written ginger but I have ground cinnamon in here. Garam masala, paprika, cayenne, and some white vinegar. Then over here, guys, I also have some uh, ginger and seasoning cubes. You can use your desired ginger or seasoning cubes. So, guys, first things first, we are going to peel this sweet potato and slice it into chips like. Uh, or rather finger like like one finger this way we just oh my god my finger looks weird but <laughs> guys you are going to slice the chips to be the size of your finger and we are also going to be marinating this chicken drumsticks and then we get cooking so guys let's get straight into the video uh, so guys we are going to start with marinating the chicken off and the first thing we're going to be doing is the chicken drumsticks start into cutting deep within and this will help with helping the marination to just get in. I had wanted to do chicken wings and wingettes but guys I didn't find chicken wings at my butcher. So guys once the chicken has been cut this is what you're aiming for. They are all ready and remember guys I am cooking for two so uh, you should estimate the number of people that you're cooking for so we're going to set this chicken aside and then we're going to add our marination into this bowl with some cooking oil in the bowl so just one remember it's a healthy cooking so you don't want anything rosemary guys after the cooking oil rosemary paprika black pepper And finally guys, salt to taste, salt. So I am going to mix this up, as you can see the marination is quite small. Then we are going to dip in our chicken in here. So guys, as you can see, it's coated and well marinated. So we are going to set this aside and begin working on the sweet potatoes. So guys, I'm going to start off with peeling the sweet potatoes and just, there's no procedure here, just peel normal, how you normally peel your, your normal potatoes, that's how you do it. That. 
So guys, I am so sorry, but I lost the footage of where I was slicing the sweet potatoes into the fries-like uh, shape. So that's how I did them. Then after that, I marinated them with some cooking oil, paprika, cinnamon, cayenne, and some salt. And then I put them in the oven together with the chicken because I was not cooking for a lot of it. But if you're cooking for a lot of people, kindly cook the meals, the two food in bunches. Start with the sweet potatoes since they will cook faster and then do the chicken later. But once I had put them in my oven at 180 degrees Celsius, for 10 minutes the fries were cooked well they were crispy on the outside and very juicy and soft on the inside so 10 minutes into the oven the sweet potatoes were ready so i just removed the sweet potatoes and left the chicken in the oven to cook for longer but guys look at that how nice how sweet do these sweet potatoes look like i am telling you they were so tasty and let me tell you you can have these sweet potato fries for breakfast or for dinner and they are absolutely amazing so once i removed the sweet potatoes i left the chicken in the oven to continue cooking and then i started making the sauce for putting the chicken drumsticks so let's get into making the sauce So guys, let's get into making the sauce. And so the only thing in that pan is tomato sauce with some water. If you have ketchup, use ketchup. But I found that tomato sauce worked just as fine. So I'm only stirring the tomato sauce and some water in there. Then next, I added some garlic. Once I added garlic, I'm going to add some soy sauce like about uh one and a half tablespoons of soy sauce remember to make as much sauce as the chicken let the sauce not be kidogo or rather small next i added some white vinegar about one tablespoon of white vinegar if you don't have vinegar then use lemon lemon juice because the lemon will help with or rather the lemon or the vinegar play the same role next I added some paprika for the color and for the paprika to also give the sauce that smoked feel. Next, I added some thyme and please be careful with the thyme or rather the thyme don't add a lot. Just kidogo too for the nice taste. And then I give that a nice stir. Guys, ensure that you really give it a nice stir and give it time to cook. As you can see, the garlic I cut were in some huge chunks. So if you don't like filling your garlic in your sauce or in your food, then grate it or mince it. But that's how I liked my garlic. I didn't even feel it when I was eating the chicken. It turned amazing, amazingly well. So at this point, I'm going to add honey, about one and a half tablespoons of honey. If you don't have honey, add sugar. And we are done, guys. Give it some time to cook and it's ready. So guys, five minutes after giving the sauce time to cook, it looked amazing and it was ready, ready. So that's a close-up look of how the sauce looks. And then I added some little coriander or dania. Give it a nice stir and it's ready. So now the only thing remaining is for us to add the chicken pieces in there and it's done, guys. Look at that. Look at that. Amazing. ready and we are just going to add them into oh my god why is it not clear that way they are ready so we are going to add them into our sauce so guys once they are inside our pan we are just going to ensure they are all coated well so guys look at that oh my goodness So guys, our chicken drumsticks are ready and they don't they look amazing? Guys, 
I hope you can see this well. So I'm going to switch off my cooker because this is ready and then we're just going to pan to place it on a plate and we are done. That my goodness looks amazing. Looks amazing. So guys, I have plated the wings, the drumsticks. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I keep saying wings because I had intended to make wings, but the drumsticks are just as better. So this is how it looks. Guys, who doesn't want a plate of these goodies? So that's it for today's video, guys. Thank you for watching until now. Thank you for keeping it locked here. So, guys, try out this recipe and tag me on Instagram. My Instagram handle is right here below. And tell me how it turns out. In the meantime, guys, I am going to dig in into these goodies. See you on our next video. Stay blessed, guys. Bye.